last time uh, i have given the link of the source code here so please uh, follow this uh, this is the source code uh, of the following programs i'll do and uh, user have asked uh, 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 as for the tic tac toe game in the last video so i have uploaded it and anyone if you want you can also type in the comment and uh, i'll try to make a video hello everyone this is uh, vignesh uh, with i'm here with my second video uh, yesterday uh, in my first video comment and user uh, ask me how to do a tic tac toe game as actually you know about that games that uh, it's normally called uh, xro game so let's uh, go to the game uh, so i made uh, the game with the simple c graphics maybe a little bigger but uh, but it's very easy when you understand it uh, you can get a lot of information and you can make more project using simple c graphics so let's open the project first so this is the project so uh, last time i uh, heard from some users that uh, the video uh, code was little uh, inconvenient to read so un i mean uncomfortable to read so i made uh, it more comfortable and uh, i'll improve in my later videos so let's start as you know uh, for a graphics function you have to include studio.h conio.h graphics.h and then this one dot gd is equal to detect i mean graphics driver and uh, gm and init graph is equal to gd gm and include gd gm ambassador gm and c turbo c3 bga so let's uh, come to the game first the graphics function used here is a line and an x or o dot using out txt function so first let's come to the layout function here i used a layout function which is uh, included here i mean uh, it's uh, let's first see the output compiled and yes here so here if you press 1 1 to 9 uh, the in the places the x or o will occur if you press 1 x will occur in the first position now it's turn of the o user so if we press 2 then it will come in the second position if the x press 5 it will come in the fifth position and uh, o press 4 in the second i mean fourth position and here chance uh, numbers come like it's a o chance and x chance o chance and x chance and finally when uh, the x complete the game and here comes the x win because 1 5 9 it's a suitable combination to win this game so this is the output so let's go to the code okay so first use a layout function see this is uh, set bk color white and uh, red is the main color used and your draw this is the layout i mean that four lines uh, which is used as a board to play that i mean uh, using a suitable uh, uh, this uh, i mean coordinates you have uh, we have done it and uh, let's go to the loop so first we have used a while loop here d is equal to equal to zero this loop is used uh, for the nine functions like uh, whenever it returns with and switch over to x and then o and then to x and then o to exit the loop we'll see later so here the main main concept of this function is uh, we are getting a number like uh, from one to nine so get ch is used if you press 1 this get ch 1 will get converted to the choice that is the ascii value of the 1 so the ascii value of 1 is 49 so now the choice value is 49 so i will look after this if else in later so let's go to the function we have used the switch case here so the case 49 so switch of choice so now the choice value is 49 so case 49 is if a n s i mean this a n n uh, this a n s function will discuss later so the basic is if you press 41 mm, it will convert to 49 and for 49 it will put x around uh, out x t 325 in the first position i mean uh, if not uh, and then you uh, oh then case 50 for 2 like uh, it will put uh, 375 in the second position coordinates like that we have done for the nine cases like 53 54 56 57 58 and 59 i mean from 1 to 9 and then later uh, we'll go to the next one that is uh, what does that means uh, uh, if n is well, you know what is the use of n s is used to switch over the function first we have defined the value of n s is equal to 1 okay and uh, when n s is equal to 1 so it will put x okay 
if ans is not equal to 1 it will put o so first we have ans equal to 1 so it will put x so if it has put an uh, d d bot x here so it the uh, the uh, uh, statement will break and then it will exit the switch case condition and it will go uh, i mean wait yes we have uh, switch condition will go and uh, uh, here uh, I mean a switch condition will go and it will change it into uh, ANS is equal to 0 0 or ANS is equal to 1 here it is it will uh, switch over to from ANS is equal to 0 and this uh, third time of the loop it will again switch over to 1 fourth time of the loop again to 0 so we have to correctly mention when it is 0 and when it is 1 so we have to use a uh, uh, this uh, count value so it will count how many times the loop is running so first time when it comes uh, uh, an is equal to equal to 1 and count is equal to equal to 1 so count uh, count is 1 1 modulo 2 is not equal to 0 so we are putting an is equal to 0 next time the count will be 2 2 modulo 2 is not equal to 0 no the condition is wrong so fl else statement will again it is 1 now the count will be 3 3 modulo 2 is again not is equal to 0 so 0 so like that it will switch over to ans is equal to 0 or 1 and it will create uh, like uh, it will create uh, the functions whether to put x or o so this is about this uh, uh, i mean switching over function and uh, next uh, we'll go to the uh, final answer so you may have uh, wondered I, uh, why i have used this many variables like counting 1 plus plus 4 7 so the reason behind this uh, nothing but to calculate the final so final answer so we have to calculate how many combination are there so let's uh, see a photo uh, for that so here it is uh, sorry so we have a 1 2 3 4 5 6 and 7 and 8 I mean this 7 and 8 is not shown here that is 1 5 9 and 3 5 7 so if first when 1 it, one is selected that is 3 three combination for 1 you can count this way this side 1 4 7 or 1 2 3 or 1 5 9 so that is 3 chances like that it's for 3 this uh, 3 5 7 or 1 2 3 or 3 6 9 like that all has 1 1 value if you take 2 only there is 2 chances 2 5 8 or 1 2 3 then if you take 5 1 5 9 3 5 7 4 5 6 and 2 5 8 this is how many times the number is coming in the following uh, in a single pattern so we are counting that value which is uh, used here i mean wait a minute so this was the combination here so if you put 49 the counting one that is the first variable and fourth variable and seventh variable will increase so like that every time it increases here and finally when you go here there is an if else statement called uh, counting one so when counting one is equal to three or counting two is equal to equal to three i mean every single places it has so counting variable indicates the x value x value and count variable increase the uh, indicate the oval so if any of this counting uh, from one to eight uh, equal to equal to three or count equal to equal to three so if counting is equal to x wins and we clearing derivatives and exit the function so if count is equal to equal to 3 then o wins and then we are clearing the device and then so we have uh, later we have saw that uh, this one function let me show it in the output so if you press 1 here comes o chance and then 2 x chance and o chance so we are generating here so uh, so we have to know that uh, how to put that function so so here again x wins so there we use again uh, uh, x chance and o chance we have to indicate i mean instruct the user what is uh, uh, whose turn is now so we have used a if loop there i mean uh, a condition loop there uh, to indicate uh, which one is used so if the answer is equal to equal to 1 then put o chance if answer is equal to equal to 0 then put another chance like that it is used so this is the uh, use of the if else function so next we are going to see this is uh, mostly over so default case if uh, why uh, if a user presses uh, from 1 to 9 if he presses 0 this default case will work and then the count variable will get minus because uh, uh, we, we should not count that uh, time we should leave the count and again uh, the same should happen like that uh, uh, we are doing it 
so it is the final and to lastly if count is equal to equal to 9 if no one wins till uh, the count is equal to 9 then the out txt function will show that the game is draw so if the game is draw then d is equal to equal to 1 so i mean d is equal to 1 this is this is used to exit the main loop if d is equal to 1 so here we have given the condition if d is equal to equal to 0 we are going to exit the loop so now it is d is equal to equal to d is equal to 1 so the main loop exit and the final is obtained thank you